I'm not quite seeing it. So, um, anyway, so hopefully we actually are live. I'm not getting my live feed. So hold on just a second if everybody's there yet. <laughs> Starting our live. Oh, it says, go on. Hey, it says we're, well, somebody might be watching here soon. Someone Let's see. Be watching. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello everybody and welcome to our live video. Yes, I hope welcome. you have a happy unicorn night because we're doing this during night time. We are doing this during the night time. And it's going to be kind of a short video because... It's a small package. <laughs> yes, well it's a small package and the girls have homework to do lots as well. It. So yes, they have lots of homework. I know. I'm not getting this on here. I only have time reading and reading. You have time reading and reading? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, then I guess we'll do this, but I have no way of getting any feedback because it's not working right. So, you guys, hold tight for just a second. <laughs> so sorry. Hey, now we got it. The girls have homework to do. Okay, hold on. We got to turn that down. It's delayed. It's definitely delayed. <laughs> it's just saying. You know, doing live videos when you've got different technologies can be really, really different and really interesting. So... Thank you guys for those of you guys who have joined us really quickly um, and because I've been dying to open this this our lovely box came today so let me show you guys <laughs> it's not even doing it wait there we go so anyway we have a box that came today and it is from our good friend William Cobb and so we're kind of excited about that huh Kiari mm -hmm. you like it why do you like it when boxes come from William Zots! You think it's a guy with the Zots? Here, should we find out? Who <laughs> baby? Yeah, hang on. Hold on, Kiari, I don't think William got to see this. So, show him your face. Okay, not yelling, dealing. Yes, so she is very excited. So do you think there's going to be Zots in here? I hope so. I think, I hope, I hope. The, in the last package. Here, like why don't you open it up? Sorry. You got it in. There's pink. I never knew they had pink zots. I'm having one. <laughs> you know, there's lots of zots. I never knew there were pink ones. <laughs> and now you know, and they look like they might be the best flavor. What flavor is it? Watermelon. 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 So you've got green apple, Can you help me? purple grape. <laughs> I think my pink hands watermelon. Are okay, orange, there you go. <laughs> Red is strawberry, or there's never mm, cherry. Okay. Flower. So, as much as we like Zots, and William, you are by far and large my children's favorite because you send Zots. And anytime I get a box, they're like, oh, does it have Zots? <laughs> That's always the very first question. You're making me cry because it's so sour. <laughs> I think some of the sour fell out. You think some of the sour fell out? That's probably a good thing. Some of the oh, sour so you're going to suck it all out? <laughs> it makes her cry because it's sour, but she's going to drink some more. That's great. <laughs> drink some more. Eat some more. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you guys these tools. And these are actually a little different size than what William's tools normally are, so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, we'll, let's see. Let's get some scissors here. We'll open these up. Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> Look how awesome that is. Oh. Hey, Kiari, Does check all this the out. Stuff have the eight ball thing? The little pool balls. Mm -hmm. You know what? Some of it does. Check that out. Maybe what do you think? One. Yes, do you want to open one, Kiari? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So you open this one. So this one, I believe, is his burnisher. So it is a non-marring burnisher so that you can go in and if you happen to miss or skip over something, you're definitely not going to scratch a stone with this. That is beautiful. And they're Why tiny. Are they pool balls? Why are they pool balls? Good question. What do you think? They look like the balls that yeah. you have. So you know which ones are, like because they have different numbers, them. you know which one's which. That's a good one. Yeah, that's definitely a good point. Oh, look at that one. These are so awesome, William. So we have three different Wait, tools here. Boys. Well, that's okay. So I guess you can't use the numbers to like identify your tools. Darn it. 
<laughs> what does that mean? Well, if you had different numbers, then you could identify different tools because you would know which number it is, right? Okay. Reed Smith, you just recently found my channel. Thank you for joining. I'm so glad. Um, you had a hand in grammar for over 30 years. Well, don't, don't, no judge in my grammar for anything. So, just saying. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're here. So, welcome. Um, we don't get to do the live videos very often, and so these are definitely a little different than the videos that I normally do. Uh, most of you guys know that, that they're a little more off the cuff, and you just never know what's going to happen, especially when these two join me. So, really quickly, let me show you guys in my pile of zots here. Let me show you guys really quickly these different tools. And I meant to pull out my other tools uh, that William has, and I'll grab those in just a second. So really quick, I want to show you guys these. William has been, it has been so fun to watch him as he has developed new tools that have come into this. Um, he has some really cool stuff. Excuse he's me. been making some really awesome stuff. So this one happens to be a burnisher. Oh, you're a hand engraver, Reed. That's even better. I'm new at that. Don't we, judge mine yet. We have one <laughs> thumbs up and zero mine it. Yeah, That's okay. Yeah. Maybe other people will Everybody give a thumbs up. Everybody give more thumbs up. Well, apparently Kiari would like some thumbs up. So you might... And hearts. And hearts. I, I, don't, I think hearts. I have hearts on YouTube. I thought we had hearts. Not on YouTube. Maybe they leave hearts in the comments. <laughs> okay. They could leave hearts in the yeah, comments. Yeah, do hearts in the comments. And unicorns. <laughs> you have to do unicorns. No, oh, that's funny. So anyway, back to this really quickly. Okay, so we have the burnisher, and then we also have a bezel pusher. Now, this metal that's on here has kind of a yellowish look to it, and I have mistakenly said, because he actually sent me a burnisher uh, before that was kind of, it comes to a really fine point, and I had said that it was brass, and it is not brass. It is an alloy that William has done himself. It's harder than brass, and it's, it's one that, again, is... Uh, a little stronger and the way that he finishes these it's meant so that it doesn't mar your metal or anything else like that um, then we've got the scribe now he's got another scribe that's already out there as well and these are made of tungsten nice and sharp they're beautiful and so you have to be really careful because it is a scribe and so it's nice and sharp now the difference between these yeah. It's sharp enough to poke you like a needle bump. Oh, it's definitely sharp enough to poke you like, like a needle. Like Sleeping Beauty? It just is a little thicker. Like yeah. Sleeping Beauty, except it doesn't make you fall asleep. <laughs> hey, look. Not only did you get a heart, you also got a unicorn. <gasps> Who is that? His name is Reed. Reed Smith. Thank you, Reed Smith. <laughs> I love unicorns. She does love unicorns, that's for sure. Sharp, so you want to be really careful with it. You do want to be really careful with it. What do you do with scribes, Kiara, or Kate? Do you know? Don't you write with them? You can write with them. Uh, you, you can, can also design. design. You can draw your design. You can mark your metal. Because, um, like, earlier, didn't they call scribes? They were, like, the people who wrote down something. Yes. Yes. So this is a tool that was based off of that. And I'm not finding my other item really quickly, but here, watch out, please. Okay, so, that way so it doesn't scratch anyway. here are a couple of William's original tools, and one that I've not done things with yet because I did not know what I was doing, but I do now. Mm -hmm. um, so you know a lot of stuff. <laughs> hey, look, Twyla sent you some unicorns, too. Oh, so many unicorns! <laughs> Okay, you guys have to see her expression. Look at this. Okay, Kiari, so t show them how happy you are about unicorns. So many unicorns! <laughs> yeah, so, well, that's kind of a scary face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of, that was kind of nightmarish. <laughs> that looks like what you would do in the middle of Ghost. <laughs> All right, back to this. So here, here what I want to show you guys is William has been doing the mini pool balls. So this one is that other burnisher that I was talking about, and it has kind of that fine point, and it's actually done beautifully. It's got this beautiful polish to it, so that transfers to your metal when you're burnishing things down. Now, you'll see the size of these, and they're kind of nice too, because they're the mini pool balls. But now what mini? he's done, they, yeah, these are the mini pool balls, because pool balls are, are much bigger. So these are mini pool balls. So those ones are like bitty babies. 
Yes, they're called the mini minis. Mini minis? Mini minis. <laughs> mini minis. So this like mini -me. is going to be great for people with really small hands like me or somebody who just wants something. Like this, I'm able to get into my hand. See how much better that fits and mm -hmm. how much easier that is? And then I can get right in here and I can work a stone or whatever else the it case might like be. Mini -me. Mm -hmm. See, and this so one, like this that. one still works. But see how much bigger it is on my hand? Like, I'm not able to really get in here and cover it. Can you hold it like this? Mm hmm Well, it depends. Like, if you were, like, let's say that this was a stone. And if I were doing the burnisher, you know, I'd come in and I'd work around my stone like this. And this still works. This works for me. But this one, you know, I'm able to come in here. And, and you have, like, better precision. Yeah, I have a little bit better control because it fits my hand so much better. Did I say Twila? Okay. Twila. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Thank you, Tyla. <laughs> and you guys, so RM, ARM, I'm not sure what your first name is, so we'll just call you RM. Um, watched your progress at GRS. Fun watching the videos. Thank you. You know what, you guys? GRS was so much fun. And it was a lot. I mean, it was definitely a learning curve. What are you all excited about now? Unicorns are the best. <laughs> Yeah, so one that loves unicorns. But um, the stuff with GRS was a lot of fun. And you guys can kind of see my setup just back here right now. And like I will tell you, almost. yes, well, I will tell you guys, that is going to be a very hard one skill for me. That is not something that comes naturally to oh, me at all. Engraving? So that is, that's for the engraving and stuff. And Twyla says you're welcome for the unicorns, honey. That's so big. Yeah. Yes. I can see my <laughs> you can see your eyelashes with the microscope. That's big. <laughs> anyway, so this is what happens when we do with live videos. There's like it's just like squirrels running around, you know, and we're off on one topic and then to another. That's how it works, right? Well, that's how it works when we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely how it works when you guys are here. But anyway, so I'm excited to show you guys some of the stuff that I've done with GRS. I'm gonna be doing a video here in pretty quick uh, that will at least show you what's involved with the setup and the equipment. Now keep in mind that when I did this, I went in whole hog, so it was definitely not inexpensive, and it was, I had to borrow money from my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness he, he has more money than me. <laughs> but That's I will- Because you keep uh, wasting your money on jewelry. I don't waste it on jewelry, I waste it on tools. And is it really <laughs> wasted? These guys all seem to like it. You, you just need they can tell us, that. you know, yeah. you tell me, is the money wasted okay, on tools? So back no. to tools. Let's talk a little bit about some of these. You need to sell some jewelry to it, I should sell some jewelry to it. There you go. So if you guys all want to buy some jewelry, Kate is also selling jewelry yeah. now. I'm making custom so. bracelets, ornaments, and necklaces, <laughs> and bracelets, and rings. Yes, mm -hmm. she's got a whole line of stuff. So anyway, so and this is them. now... <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we have now. So, and, and I've got a few others of his tools. I just, um, because I have added new benches into the studio, I had to rearrange things. It almost it, looks like an ornament. It does kind of look like an ornament, but the thing that's kind of cool is that see how it's got the little um, Allen screw in there, or kind of a hex screw? So what you do is you open that up and then you can put this in here. Mommy, so you said oh. a bad word. No, I didn't. Hex? That's not a bad word. Okay. So you got, means. if you take away this, <laughs> it is. Okay, oh, so you okay. got 9, 4, 12, 4, and 7. <laughs> 9, 4, 12, hey, look. 7. Um, they said, I just checked in to say hello to the unicorn, but it is working time here in Borneo. So I have to run again. Well, thank you for checking in What's from Borneo? Borneo. It's a whole other country. Whoa. So I'll, we'll look it up. Are side of the world? Maybe. We'll look, at, we'll look on the map. I'll show you, okay? No, of course, money is never wasted on schools <laughs> or education. And you know what? I finally got to spend some time on my education. But anyway, so this is a graver, girls. And this is what I use to engrave the metal. However, it's oh. really long right now. Yeah. But what I'll do is I'll cut it down, and then I'll put it into here. Um, Why would you cut it? Because it's too long. So you're supposed so, to cut it? Yes. Yeah, you cut them down to the right length, and then you can use it. And they come long because everybody has different... Different lengths of which they need it? Yep, because everybody's hands are different. 
different sizes and things like that. Mine's not yeah. different. See, so yours would need to be little. <laughs> Mom. Money for tools or unicorns? Tough decision. It is a tough decision. So I say the unicorns tend to win out animals. in this house. <laughs> I say safety animals. I say unicorns. <laughs> That's an animal. So, right now. so anyway, mm -hmm. if you guys are not familiar with his his stuff, just look up William Cobb Jewelry, and you will find a lot of his tools. Now, he's got more tools. So here's one right here that I've just got. Um, so this is his one of his original ones. This is a will hold. Can you take it off? Yeah, you can take it off because it's just a magnet. So Hard the will hold off. is kind of awesome because again we're working with a tungsten tip here, and what it does is it allows you to position things. So for instance, let's say that I have an item here and I want to hold something into place while I'm soldering. What I can do with this will hold is put it into place, push this down. Well, of course it's not going to work for me right now. Well, I guess I should pick something other than a jump ring. Yeah, my or a little coil, huh? So this is my one of my tool time Tuesdays coming up, guys. It's Alan's project, the the necklace class coming up. But anyway, so what you can do is it's supposed to be a surprise. No, it's coming. It's finally coming. I'm late. Um, it's still supposed to be a surprise. Yeah. So anyway, you can hold things into place and and then you can do your soldering. And so it's really nice because notice that it's kind of stiff. So I can position it however I need it and it's going to hold items in there. In addition to that, it's got a little plunger where I can make it shorter or longer depending on what I need. Plus, it's magnetic. So he has different types of bases. <laughs> Gerja, <can't>. you okay? <laughs> But anyway, so there's different bases that he has that, um, uh, anyway, he's got different bases that you can use for this. Um, and then he also has, hold on, girls. Hang on, just a second. I'm going to grab another tool. So this is another tool. Yes, you did get it off. So this is another tool, which is a plier holder. And actually, you can stick a number of different accoutrements in here. But most and then you common is a plier. Most common, in my case, is a plier. And then I can hold, say so like right here, now I've actually got something held into here. And then I can hold this, and again, I can position it however I want to. So it's kind of similar to something you got back over and there for soldering, but this one's more flexible. Like the other one's got like joints to bend. Right, out. right. And actually, William has now created one that has another platform right here. So you would actually be able to take this and stick it on here. And then you could pivot this one and pivot this one. So That's awesome. I know. William's kind of cool. He comes up with a lot of really good ideas. He's a genius. <laughs> Felix, to answer your question, this graver, what you would do. Um, I actually don't cut them. You well, depending on which one this is, I need to check and see if this is a carbide or if it's steel. If it's steel, then I'm going to use a cutoff wheel and um, and or a grinder, like a like a, just a grinding wheel or something like that. If it is carbide, then what I do is I'm going to put it into a vise. I'm going to clamp it in, and then I'm going to take a pair of pliers. And then I'm just going to snap it snap. and it will break it right there. And then I have to go back in and clean up that edge and put it however, you know, whatever shape I need to fit into whatever I'm putting it into. So in this case, if I were to try to do this, I would either need to reshape the face or the end of it so that it would then fit into the ball. And then I could screw the little uh, screw down and hold that all into place. So you have a couple of different ways that you can shape the gravers. And then of course, anytime you have a graver, you know, even though this looks and it feels sharp and this will poke me and it will cut me, it's actually not sharp enough to use and it's not prepared to use. So if I were to try to engrave with this graver right now as it stands, it would dig into the metal and it would just go straight down. Mm -hmm. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't go nicely like you would think with engraving. So all of your gravers have to be prepared. And um, 
that's one of the things that I did learn while I was at GRS was how important it is to get the right, right face, the right shape, the right polish, and the right angles on your gravers. Otherwise, it's just a big old mess. And right now, I'm still in the point where I have lots of messes. And hopefully, it will get better. <laughs> so, good. I'm glad that helps, Felix. And, and like I said, as I get into some of this a little bit more. I think those people are in China. Yeah. So, our, it says our Kim. Yeah, he might be in China. He could be anywhere, huh? We Maybe don't... Japan. Maybe Japan. Somebody in my reading class is in Japan. Japan. <laughs> yeah, so we've got people from Borneo. Watching. I mean, we have people all over the world she, watching you right now. I think she was born Hello, in everyone South America. Hello, all over the world. I think she was born in South <laughs> America. So, yeah. She says she lived in South America. I never lived in South America. Where have you lived? In the United States. Her name was but that's it. Yep. I've nice. been to Canada. I've been to Canada. It's a pretty name. You took me. My my yes. spelling teacher gets me and Kiza mixed up. <laughs> well, all, all right, guys. She, so anyway, she I wanted me to do. Okay. Yes. So I wanted to show you guys the new tools that we have in here from William, and I can't wait to actually get in and use them. So this is just the unboxing. So those of you guys who are not familiar with my videos, she hopefully is. you guys will see. Um, I, I like to do more in-depth videos She's and reviews. She's excited to use them. I am very excited to use these actually. And they'll actually go really handy with some projects that I have coming up. So be watching for that. I will definitely, really? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a sneak peek. It is a sneak peek. And so William, thank you so much for sending thank these. You. And I thank cannot you wait. Mommy very happy. Yeah, I now you gotta. pink one before. <laughs> no, thank you. You make mommy very happy. William always makes me happy. I'm always happy to and work with William. Happy and if you guys are not familiar, if you guys are on YouTube, William has a group and he asked me to be one of the admins in there. So there are three of us that are an admin. An admin is somebody who helps run the group. So we have a fun time. So it's tips, out. tricks, and tools. You broke. Oh, that's crazy. Well, now we know what the inside of a zot looks like. It looks here, like here, salad. here. Show, show them right here what the inside <laughs> of a zot looks like. Yeah, she's covered in sour goodies or goodness now. Here, bend your thumb. Yeah, you're gonna go suck that thumb. That'll be fun. <laughs> So, anyway, you guys, these girls have a lot of homework to still go do. We, um, it's a late night for us because we just got done with Taekwondo. Two hours of it, no less. But anyway, so they've got some homework we've got to go jump into. But I wanted to show you guys these new tools from William. So make sure you check those out. Uh, like I said, just search up William Cobb Jewelry. And um, William, hopefully you will post the link to your site into the comments of the video and we'll get that up there for you guys as well have a good night you guys and we will see you guys all next time Bye, thanks for night. joining us please send more unicorns and hearts <laughs> unicorns yeah. unicorns and hearts we need more unicorns and hearts have a good evening you guys